me, and I am your host, Christian Lestat Bucer. For the people at home, who are we here with today? It's your boy Mythology, man. Concrete Toss in the motherfucking building. 2,000 miles. What up? Now, you know, everyone should already know who you are. If they're not new to Spotlight TV, but they're new, well, what do you do for a living? I produce and I write my own rhymes. I drop albums of Concrete Toss and I drop my own shit. I'm featured on other people's shit. You know what I mean? You need a beat? I'm the man. I'm the real two guy. Been like that for over 10 years. So. Now, for all the people who have been watching, you want to tell the people at home what's going on, what's new in the world of, of myth? Man, I'm just making moves right now. You know, like, I'm talking a couple labels right now. That's hush hush, though. I ain't putting no more out there. Um, working on a new album. I have no name for it yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for places to record. So if you wanna work with me, I'm letting you know right now I'm a workhorse. I do a lot of shit, man. Like I'm in the booth like a lot. So I mean, if you wanna work with me, man, be prepared to work, because we're gonna put in heavy hours. But yeah, other than that, man, I'm chilling. Now for all those uh, people who watch for the, the beef element of Spotlight TV, it, it, what's going on? Is anything changed? <laughs> I won't speak on that right now. You know what I'm saying? I know uh, a couple cats out there been doing things they shouldn't have been doing. You know who you are. I mean, we'll talk when we meet face to face. I ain't saying nothing over the camera or the internet. Just what's that? Now, there's a lot of craziness going on in town with, like, headlines and stuff, you know, dealing with a police officer. Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of rappers and that, they're, you know, they're giving their opinions, and, you know, a lot of people on the street, they want to give their opinions. And forums and message boards are blowing up with people with their opinions. Now, here's your chance. What's your opinion on all this? I was there. I was there. I mean... That shit was crazy, man. Like, I'm not gonna get into in the detail, but we left, and five minutes later I heard the shots. I was like five blocks away. You know what I'm saying? We go up there and he was laid out. You know what I mean? I didn't really know it was like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a shame, it's a tragedy. And for, for the cop to be like talking how he was, that, that shit ain't right. Like, he was throwing racial slurs in there and, and just like making fun of the whole situation. And you know, regardless of dude's social status, dude was still wrong for putting that shit out there like that. I, like, out of respect for his family, he shouldn't. You know, like, dude had no respect for some whole thing. And I think we need a closer watch on the hate You know what I'm saying? And they're corrupt, man. They're corrupt. Simple and plain, they're corrupt as most motherfuckers out here doing dirt. They're just like us, man. They got that badge, so that, that's their protection. But yeah, man, that shit was wrong. Now, when you, you said racial slurs, there's going to be a lot of people questioning the fact they watch the tape. And, and, well, it's, it's simple and plain. Like, but, he says it plain as day. He was saying racial shit, man. Like, what the fuck is he saying when he's talking about putting turds in tuxedos? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, that was a racial slur, man. That's racism right there, man. Like, that dude should really get hit with a heavy lawsuit for all that shit. The whole video, you know? Like, and what, what? He's just getting suspended or he got... What? Yeah, he, he well, first he was suspended with pay. Now he's suspended without pay, but he's not losing his job. Right. And now, even though that has that's like made, Now, that's like the cop... That, that was caught stealing cocaine. Now, I did five years for a quarter pound of marijuana, right? This cop goes in stealing cocaine. Who knows for how long? Who knows how much he was taking on a regular basis? But this man, what happened to him? He went to rehab? He didn't even go to jail, did he? I, I wasn't really following the story. It was just, it was just it's just horrible. Well, look, if that was one of us and we got caught with the, the coke that he got caught with or whatever, we wouldn't have got rehab. Oh, yeah, we would have got jail. <laughs> Seriously, and they get special treatment? Why? Because they, they, they protect and serve They protect and serve themselves. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's, it's crazy because like certain people get hit harder than them, man. Like, they should get treated equally like us. Simple and plain. That's all I got to say about that. 
Uh, it's terrible that like he's got a job, and I've told people on WERG they should write to the White House. I mean, they can write to the mayor, but you know what's going to happen? It's like writing to the mayor, writing to any other city official is like writing to Ted about Ted. You know, Ted's not going to do anything about himself, so that's right. basically what's going on in this right. situation. Right. I don't know, man. I think it just needs our, our police department needs more speculation. Like more eyes on it and shit, you know what I mean? Um, so what's going with the tavern scene in you? I, know, I ain't even been out like that, I ain't even gone front. I've been, I've been doing shit elsewhere right now. I got mad love for the A14, but it's time for me to carry on and get strong to other places. You know, leave my name out to other places. <laughs> So what you gotta say, any shout outs to some people or any thanks? Or? Oh, no doubt. Shout out to Uncle Jimmy, to my man Black Shit, the whole fam, you know what I'm saying? All Free Tots, um, Gary's Finest, uh, I mean, shout out to the whole 814 hip-hop scene, man, y'all doing your thing. You know what I mean? You can hate, but I'm showing love, so, whatever, man. I got mad love for everybody out here doing your thing. The talent is crazy right now. I got mad love for y'all, man. Doing it. Oh, shout out to Beebe, too. I want to get out of here. I want to do a track. It's a little plain. AK and Colin Street. So it's like the summer of 2009, knocking at the door. The good weather is ba basically here. Hopefully it won't snow again. Now, do you think this summer is going to be any different for the hip hop, or do you think this summer is going to be like the explosive summer for you know hip hop? It's going to be a good summer, man. It's going to be a good summer. This award show. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one this year. Heck, got it two years in a row. Big up. I think it's gonna be a close race this time. There's no telling who can win. You know what I mean? There's so much new talent going hard, man. I mean, it's hard to tell. Are you nominated this year? Uh, I don't know. I, I ain't ever nominated myself. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do it, man. I ain't out for it for that, man. Hip hop is a hobby for me, man. This is for fun for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm talking to a couple labels right now, but that's I need money. You know what I'm saying? I could do it for a hobby, but still, that was in the case. You know what I'm saying? You voting for anyone in yourself? Oh, if Concrete nominated, you already know. Yeah. Anybody in Concrete is nominated, I'm voting for them. Of course, but uh, if I had to vote for anybody other than us, I'd have to say, uh, devious or heck, man. Ain't fair with the fam. If it ain't Concrete, it's one of them, though. Know? So you want to sign this one off? Concrete Tops, man. 2,000 miles coming soon. It's your boy Miff. Spotlight TV. TLB. Yeah. This is Kristen Lestat, motherfuckers.